What's going on everybody? So today we're talking about the Dragon Quest 35th anniversary stream that happened yesterday. It was a fun celebration. It featured Mr. Yuji Hori himself, the creator of Dragon Quest. And it was a talk show style format. Um, it was a worldwide stream. It was translated into different languages, Korean, Chinese, and kind of English. Uh, if you watched the stream, you kind of know what I'm talking about. But um, so it was, uh, you know, we got to learn some things. We got to hang out with Yuji Hori. So it was a fun time. Um, I will say that from my perspective, uh, you know, I am a in a bit of a unique position because I am a new Dragon Quest player, but I am a very enthusiastic Dragon Quest player. Now, there's other people like me. There's probably a lot of people who've played Dragon Quest XI and absolutely loved it. That's the case. Excuse me. That's the case with me. I played 11 about six months ago and I loved it. One of my top five games of all time, probably my favorite JRPG of all time. I put a hundred hours into it, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I am absolutely starving for my next mainline Dragon Quest entry. I want to play some game one through 10 and I don't care what it is. I just want some to play some game as long as there's a a serviceable version, a serviceable port of that game on modern platforms and modern consoles, I'm in, sign me up. I'm, I'm there today, now, I'll start the game now. Uh, but the problem is that doesn't actually exist on modern consoles on the Nintendo Switch, on Steam, on PS4, Xbox, whatever. Um, Dragon Quest mainline games don't exist other than the most recent one, 11. So my hope going into this stream was that we would get these ports. We would get, we would watch, we would get to see this 35 years into Dragon Quest. We would get to see the company come forward and give us uh, the mainline games, the reasons that we're here, basically the reasons that we're talking about all this stuff. Um, and we didn't, we didn't get those unfortunately from this stream. So I was left pretty disappointed. And that's just from me, from me in my own position. The thing is, I know there's a lot of other people like me who are new Dragon Quest uh, fans, just really thirsty to play more of the series. And we just don't have those options unless we want to play on mobile. But for me, it's just not an option I'm, I'm making available to myself. The mobile ports, are, I'm sure some of them are good. I've heard some of them are good specifically, like four is pretty good, but I mean, they're eventually, eventually gonna come to console, right? And then I can play them the way that I wanna play them. So why would I not just wait? I mean, it seems like they're overdue. It seems like they're gonna be coming every, any day now, but they didn't come on this stream. So that definitely makes me worried that uh, they may not be coming for a while. Um, if ever. Now, I can't imagine them not ever coming. It seems like they, there's, it's just a matter of time. It seems like this 35th anniversary would have been the time to unveil these games, and they didn't do it, unfortunately. But we did get this that we're looking at right now, and that is Dragon Quest Three, the HD 2D remake, which is uh, clearly worked on by the uh, Octopath Traveler developers. We had one of those developers did a little bit of a monologue um, after this trailer, talked a little bit about the game, talked about how he was with the Octopath Traveler team and how they were behind uh, this effort, this remake. And it looks absolutely stunning. It looks gorgeous. I love it. Little bit of an asterisk though. Uh, Dragon Quest Three is kind of the one Dragon Quest mainline entry, the kind of like one classic game that is available on modern platforms in a serviceable form, like in a decent port serviceable form. It's not perfect. It has some of those same issues that one and two have with the screen stuttering and they decided to wrongfully to replace all the sprites with much uglier uh, enhanced sprites. Uh, but the the sprites in three are a lot less ugly. They're a lot more serviceable, as I said. Uh, additionally, those uh, that screen stutter is present, but barely. It's not nearly as bad as it is in one, 
One is basically unplayable in my opinion. So three is the one game that we have access to a decent port on modern consoles. And they decided to remake that game. The game that needs it the least, at least in core, at least in modern times, the game that is the least in need of a remake is three, because we have three. Uh, what would have been better is is something like one through eight, one through nine getting a remake. Uh, I'm sorry, four through nine getting a remake. Any of those would have been awesome, but three, we've already got, and one and two we kind of have, but they're they're gross, obviously. Um, so one or two would have been okay too, but three just seems like the least in need of this. Uh, but of course, I'm still excited anyway, because I can't deny that this thing looks absolutely stunning. So of course, I'm going to be playing this. I'm going to be playing it on day one. I guess I'm just going to wait to play Dragon Quest three until this comes out. I don't know when it's going to come out. So what do I do between now and then? What is a new... Dragon Quest fan, a very enthusiastic new Dragon Quest fan to do. Are we to resort to emulation? Are we to uh, play these inferior ports of one and two on our on our modern platforms? Um, I just don't know. I, I, I don't know. We're a little bit stuck right now. And this 35th anniversary stream would have been a great opportunity to have the company get us unstuck and actually give us some options of these mainline games. No disrespect to things like, you know, Dragon Quest Builders or Dragon Quest Heroes or the new uh, or the upcoming Dragon Quest Treasures. I mean, those are all fine games, I'm sure. But uh, after playing after playing 11, I just want more of these mainline games. That, that is my priority with the series, uh, as I think it would be anyone's priority with the series who has played that game in particular all the way through, uh, you're just dying for more of that that same, uh, that lineage, that that history of these mainline games. And the spinoff games, obviously there's a ton of them. The, the company is going crazy with all of these mobile games, spinoff games, card games, um, and, and so forth. So um, I'm glad we, we're getting this 3 remake because it just looks great. I'm also glad that we're getting, or hopefully getting, a worldwide release of Dragon Quest X offline because that uh, will actually allow us to play Dragon Quest X. That will, that will tick another box for me personally and just give me access to let me play through another one of these Dragon Quest mainline games. Um, so there's always E3. Square Enix has got a big presentation coming up. Perhaps we see some more Dragon Quest stuff at that. I don't know how likely that is, um, but perhaps we get some announcements of those ports. There's rumored to be ports of, uh, of four through six. That would be super awesome to have access to those. Uh, and, you know, those ports are basically done, you know, on mobile. So it's just a matter of converting them over to console and doing whatever developmental muscle is necessary to, to put into that to make the, that happen and um, I would rather see the company focus on ports uh, instead of something like this as, as great as this looks I think that the what we need the necessity that we have right now is to just have access to the games just the the most recent versions of the games on mobile or whatever, like let's get nice, clean, non-offensive, unoffensive ports of those games on modern consoles, and then we can focus on our grand remakes and all of that kind of stuff. But no sooner, right? Because we have to have we have to have the history there before we celebrate it with a remake. And mm, so I, I'm just I. I I'm left a little bit disappointed, but like I said, there's always E3, and perhaps we will get uh, these ports someday. One can only hope, because for a new Dragon Quest fan, it kind of sucks right now. For you guys who are old school Dragon Quest fans, this was probably a very cool stream for you, because you know you don't need to play the old entries. You, you know them like the back of your hand. You're just looking for new experiences, and then you probably saw this remake, and your jaw dropped. My jaw dropped too. Not 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 to say that 
uh, that this game is not worth celebrating or being excited about. But I'm just saying, I was really, I really had my fingers crossed hoping for those ports. So we'll get them someday. It's just a matter of when. Um, but until then, I guess I'm not playing Dragon Quest games uh, unless I'm playing spinoffs. But I'm definitely, I don't have any mainline games to play other than three, kind of, but it's getting remade. So now I'm just going to wait for the remake. It's just, it's kind of a mess. So um, that's all I really wanted to get at. I, I, of course, enjoyed the stream. I enjoyed the reveal of 12, even though we didn't obviously learn much. Uh, we kind of got the Metroid Prime 4 logo treatment with that, but it is what it is. At least we got it. Um, that's really all I have to say about that stream and about uh, the state of things for a new Dragon Quest fan like myself. So anyway, guys, um, hopefully I, I was not uh, bitching and moaning too hard in this video. Uh, if I was, please go easy on me because uh, it is what it is, man. It's late. Uh, I, I decided to hit the record button and here I am pontificating. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.